So John, for vSAN stretch clusters and uh, two node clusters, of course, we have a witness host appliance. Uh, can this be deployed in the cloud in any way or does it have to be on premises somewhere? So this, this can be deployed in the cloud, but with some caveats. So one thing to note is this witness appliance. Um, this is a nested ESXi instance and we only support it uh, for on-prem stretch clusters and vSAN usage today uh, running on another vSphere host. Um, so you can't run this on say EC2 or something like that. Um, the other consideration and caveat to, to think about is that this is not something that's intended to run over the public internet. So we're really gonna wanna see you use a VPN or MPLS, uh, segment the traffic. Uh, just as you wouldn't just, we ask people not to stick ESXi hosts on the public internet directly. Um, we ask you know you not to stick this on the on the public internet and open some firewall po uh, ports and um, you're you're gonna make people like Bob Plankers unhappy if you do that. So uh, please properly secure this thing. Please properly secure access and do find a, a VMware host. Now there, what what type of cloud could you use? There's a couple. So I mean uh, we obviously have opinions. There's great things like VMware Cloud on AWS, uh, but maybe you don't want to play an entire cluster for that purpose. Uh, you could also talk to our partners. So if you go to the the VMware, uh, the VCPP, the VMware Cloud Provider Program, we have 4,000 partners. And many of those, they'll operate um, instances and environments where they will happily host for you just a single VM on a shared environment, which is probably going to be a bit more cost effective if your only need is a single witness VM. You, you probably don't need a whole host, and you know, cluster in VMC. Um, but there's there's a lot of different, you know, help with that. There's some things to think about. Think about the latency requirement from a geography. So if this cluster is going to be, you know, out in Perth, Australia, uh, you probably don't want to be putting the, the witness, you know, in a cloud provider that's um, in London. So um, options. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I, I think actually, it, you know, when you bring up this idea about using a uh, VCPP as an option for that witness host appliance, that really makes so much sense in those situations where the customer wants to create this highly resilient environment and they have those two sites, but they don't have that third site. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense to, um, you know, well, lease another uh, co-location in order just to have that one uh, single witness host appliance. So I, I think that uh, really is a good idea. Yeah. And then some other things to think about is one, the witness doesn't actually have to be remote. Um, if it's a two node cluster, it's only if it's a stretch cluster that you really need it in that third site because you're trying to provide site resiliency. But if you have just a regular two node cluster, witness can be sitting in the same location. Um, the other options to think about is do think about WAN resiliency here. So do make sure that you've got one diverse, I wanna see diverse paths from both. I don't want one side of a stretch cluster to have to route through the other one to get to the witness. Uh, that is not supported and I will shake my fist at you. Um, or at least wag my finger angrily. Um, and maybe you've got a third site, but it's it doesn't have the beefiest of internet connection. Maybe it's time to go call those Velo Cloud SEs in and have them, you know, uh, explain how amazing SD WAN is and some wireless failover. So that way you can beef up uh, that little small third site or office you have to be, you know, enough to run that witness appliance at and and ease some of those concerns about WAN resiliency.